Hello everyone! In this video, I'll show you how to use this application for free to manage your stock or inventory for light use cases. When you open the application, you'll see tabs like Dashboard, All Items, New Stocks In, Sales, Purchase, and Reports. The currency formatting and date display can be customized by editing the user preferences. All this is built using Google Sheets as its database and Google Apps Script, making it free of database costs and hosting charges. Before we move on, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. The application uses the Dashboard tab as its homepage. At the top, you'll see key summary metrics displayed in colorful cards. The Total Sales card shows the current total sales value with a percentage change indicator compared to the previous period, marked by an upward or downward arrow. The Total Earnings card displays the current earnings, also with a trend indicator. The Total Orders card highlights the number of orders for the day, marked with a green envelope icon. Finally, the Total Stock Value card shows the overall value of your inventory, providing a quick financial snapshot. Below these metrics, the dashboard is divided into several insightful sections. The Total Sales section features a line graph that tracks sales trends over time. The graph includes a range of values, and you can toggle between weekly, monthly, or yearly views using the provided buttons, allowing you to analyze sales patterns flexibly. The Sales and Purchases section presents a bar chart comparing sales and purchases over the selected time period. Sales are depicted in purple, while purchases are shown in orange, with the chart dynamically adjusting based on the chosen time frame. You can switch between weekly, monthly, or yearly perspectives using the control buttons, helping you identify spending and revenue trends. The Top Sold Products section highlights your best performing products. It includes a pie chart or similar visualization, with options to sort by sales volume, quantity, or revenue. Navigation controls let you move between previous and next periods, enabling you to track product performance over time and make informed restocking decisions. The Earnings Analysis section provides a multi-line graph tracking key financial metrics, such as revenue, cost of goods sold, and gross profit percentage over the selected period. The profit margin is displayed prominently, and you can switch between weekly, monthly, or yearly views to assess profitability trends and identify areas for improvement. The Inventory Turnover Rate section displays a bar chart showing the turnover rate for your products over the chosen time frame. The chart covers all products, with the tallest bars indicating the highest turnover rates. You can adjust the view to the last 3, 6, or 12 months, helping you optimize inventory management and reduce overstock. Finally, the Stock Alert section lists all products with their current stock status. Items are flagged with statuses like Critical in red for low stock levels or Good in green for adequate supply. This section helps you quickly identify products needing restocking, ensuring smooth operations. Let me show you how to modify the currency formatting. Click the gear icon to open Preferences. Here, you can choose the locale, currency, and date format. Let's modify these and save the changes. Now, you can see the updates reflected throughout the application. Let's move to the All Items tab. The All Items page displays all your items and their current stock levels. It gives a clear overview of your inventory, listing products with their current stock, unit cost, selling price, and total stock value. It includes a search bar and options to export data as PDF or Excel for easy analysis. Let's move to the Reports tab. In the Reports section, you can view all stock ins and stock outs. Using checkboxes, you can choose what to display, such as purchases, consumption, or opening stocks. You can also filter records by date or product. Similar to other tables, this one can be exported in PDF or Excel format. Now, let's demonstrate how to perform stock ins and stock outs. We first need to make an entry for opening stock. For example, let's add a new product. 
go to the New Stocks In tab and add a new product named SSD with a quantity of 10, unit price 500 and selling price 520. You can enter remarks if needed. This new product is now added and visible in the list. You can edit it using the pencil icon or delete it. Next, let's record sales. Go to the Sales tab, click Add New Record, and choose SSD with a quantity of 2. The Date field is available, and you can add multiple entries. When you select a product, the unit price auto-populates from the stock record. Let's add one more entry to the consumption record. After submitting, the record is created. Expand the row using the Reveal icon to view all entered products in a detailed tabular format. Here, you can see our two sales entries. One more thing, when you create a new record, an email is sent. You can configure the email address where system notifications will be sent in the Preferences tab. Let me show you my inbox. Here, you can see the email was sent. Similarly, let's move to the Purchase form and create a new entry. After submitting, a new record appears in the Purchase form. Let's go to the dashboard to see if it has updated. And it has, as expected. If we check the All Items tab, our new product, SSD, now shows a current stock of 18, total purchases of 10, total sales of 2, and an opening stock of 10. This information is also visible in the Reports tab under Consumption, Purchase, and Opening Stock categories. This is how you can easily manage your stock inventory using this web application. If you're enjoying this video, please subscribe to my channel. It really supports my work. Hit the Like button too. Now, let's talk about how to make this application your own. First, go to the description box and copy the link to the spreadsheet. Then, make a duplicate copy of the spreadsheet. Next, go to Extensions and choose App Script. Click on the Deploy button and select New Deployment. Set the deployment type to Web App. In the description, give it a name like Version 1. For Execute As, choose Me. And for Who Has Access, select Only Myself. Then click Deploy. You'll be asked to authorize the code, grant the necessary permissions. Once done, you'll receive a web app URL. Open it and your application is ready to use. First step would be to modify the app preferences. Then you can start using the application. That's it. If you need a customized version, please reach out to me using the contact details in the description box. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll see you in the next video.